Your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hot fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, <Heather. laughs> Oh, we got a quad. With there your host, is. Mike Mitchell. Oh, he's coming this way, no. BC Outdoors Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, Port Boathouse, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Fish on again, Michael. That's a good size coho. For this time of year, oh, wow, it's got a good size to them, yeah. Got a real nice hatchery fish. You can see right by my thumb, it's missing its adipose fin. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we got a familiar face, Mike Kelly from Tides and Tails. Welcome back, buddy. Good to have you back, buddy, <laughs> for sure. So we made the run up to Port Hardy, got in last night, we stayed at the quarter deck, and now we're down at the dock this morning. What are we gonna do today? Well, I was thinking we'd go up to the restaurant and have a bite to eat, but uh, it's up uh, to you. I'd rather go fishing. Fishing, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, just so happens we've got lots of good Chinook and coho action literally five minutes from the dock, uh, so we're going to run out to Duval Point this morning and uh, drop some gear and see what happens. Weather reports sound good too, don't they? Well, it's flat calm, Mike, so yeah. just the way you like it. Yeah, perfect. I feel like being on a lake today. Awesome. Well, I think uh, I like the idea of breakfast, but I like the idea of fishing a little bit better, so why don't we hop on the boat and go? Sounds good. All Let's right. do that. From uh, 40 to oh, yeah. 75. I like having some range there. I'm going 56. Because if I do remember, that's when I got my big 30 up here last time. 56, okay. Free spool and down we go. That looks like a decent fish, Michael. Right off the pop, eh? So what did you get that bite on, Mike? Well, you know what? I uh, I got the brand new flash fly on there. It's got a bit of uh, UV coloring in it and the new uh, Lure Jensen flasher. And of course, I juiced it up with some of the Procure anchovy super gel as well. I just like a little scent down there, just in case. Well, I find, uh, I find with the scents, you know, it tends to make the fish grab the bait and hold on a little bit yeah. longer. Yeah, this is awesome. Looks this, like is, this is what we wanted. What are we, five minutes in? Five minutes in. And five minutes from the dock, really. My turn. <laughs> Sounding like a good fish, Mike. Yeah. It's just hanging down there. How deep are we, Mike? Oh, we got 170 feet of water under the boat right now. I think we're gonna get a look at this fish pretty soon, Mike. He's still down, you know. He's not coming up. Took a lot of line the, right off the. I sure like the, the handles there. on these reels. This is the first time for me using these shift reels, and they got these nice big huge foam handles on it, big paddles on it for my sausage fingers. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up. Let's show yourself, buddy. Let's see what you got here. He's coming up. That's for sure. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get, a, gonna get a look at it. Oh, nice fish, Mike. Wow, there what a go. start. Very Need nice. Slack for you. Oh, and guess what? Huh? This one's missing his adipose fin. Oh, like a nice hatchery fish. Nice hatchery fish. Nice. Excellent start to the morning. So, what do you think? That high teens? High teens, yeah. Nice purple color to this one too. Gorgeous. Yeah, very nice fish. And that was on the flash fly. Nice. Yeah, excellent. Well, let's deal with this guy and then get the rods back in the water, eh? Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Got a real nice hatchery fish. You can see right by my thumb, it's missing its adipose fin. Yeah, nice. So it's a hatchery fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy. Yep. It'd be good for the barbecue. And we're gonna take the head and submit it to the Salmon Head Recovery Program, and they'll send us some information back as to where this fish came That'll from. That'll be interesting to see where, where that is from. So. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it'd be a good one to eat. So. Nice, all right. Well, should we get the gear back in the water? Yeah, I'm gonna get my... Uh, Flash oil, I'll send it back up and you can fill around on your side. Huh? Deal with that fish with. Sounds good. Just a little guy. Something that's gonna fit in the teaser head. I went a little bit deeper and I think I might have a shaker on here. So. Oh, Mike, you're gonna get nibbled, buddy. Off 
the clip. Yes. Well, that wasn't too long after. This guy's not. There we go. I'm gonna guess if this is anything, this will be a coal. Just the way it's fighting, Michael. <laughs> hey, Wiley, did that one take it out of the clip, Mike? Yeah, I popped it out of the clip again. Man, we've had good action here this morning. Yeah, it's been stop. It's been fantastic. <laughs> we'll say on the flash fly. It's been a solid producer for us. Yeah. All season. Nice. I'll surf him in here quick and I'll get rid of him, Mike. Oh, he is wrapped yeah, for I mean, sure. Give me a bunch of slack, buddy. Is that a pink? Oh, oh coal, a little oh. coal. Well, this guy was lassoed up and we're allowed to keep a couple coals, so it's a bit of a bleeder, so it's probably best that we take this guy. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is fueled by the Sport Fishing Institute of BC. Fish on again, Michael. I might have to switch to that flash boy. I only got one. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry, bud. That's it. You're on your own. Well, give me half or I'll take it all. Eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a box of them. I don't think this guy's as big, but shaking his head down there. I love that. Shoot enough bite. So he came out last night, did a couple passes out here, and it was uh, lots of small guys. Lots of and small now it looks like the big boys have moved in, at least, to the bigger boys. You see he's coming to the boat right there. Yeah, not very big. Okay, what do you got there, coho, or is that a... Looks like a coho. Yeah, that's a coho. Do you want to let him go, or do you want to keep him? What's the regs on coal? You're allowed here? one wild and one hatchery in this zone right now. Yeah. So. I think, you know what, let's let's let these guys, we got a whole day of fishing. Okay. And we'll just pop this guy off. He's got those barbless hooks in his yapper. Look at, the, look at the marks on him. Watch yourself there, yeah. Put my sunglasses on to protect my eyes here. Lots of times I like to swivel my Scotty over to the side, get it out of the way. I'm just oh, yeah. going to take this gaff hook. I'm going to just slide it in between the, the bend in the hook, and I'm just going to pull it out nice and gentle like that nice. and let him swim away. And make sure you just leave my flash fly on my line. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be producing for you so far. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that glow fibers in it, and then, of course, with the Procure on it. That's the ticket so far. It's nothing on my bait. Not bad. Not yet. Well, maybe you're just waiting for the big boy, then. I've got, I'm waiting for the big one. It's gonna be on my uh, my coyote glow and glow black. Okay, so we've been having a lot of luck on the flash yeah. fly, and so I think I'm gonna switch over and get rid of my anchovy. Yeah. So, so this is the one that I have right now. So it's got the white with the purple, a little bit of the the UV in it. You can see that. That's brand new for this year too. But this one just came out too. Is the white with the green kind of as well? You know, that's kind of a nice one. Or this is the traditional one that I'd fished lots of is the white here with, it's got a little bit of the green, but just not more of a glow to it. All right, so you got three different choices in the whites, but uh, brand, two brand new ones this year. And this one's the standby that we've been using. And then of course, too, I mean, you, you, know, you can never go wrong with purple, right? Yeah, we... So, but the white seems to be working first, right? And that's what we're gonna, what we're getting on on this guy right now, so. I think I'm gonna go with the old standby. Yeah. Give okay. that a try. Oh. And that's your um, finger. Yeah, no, this one has been working good for us this year. Yeah. Same with that one as well. Yeah, so. cool. All right, let's get them in. Excellent. That was interesting. That was kind of cool. A little tap, and then all he did is just touch the downrigger just to bring it up. I just brought it up, and then right then, bang off the clip. Yeah, something simple like that. Change of speed, change of, quick change of depth by a yeah. few feet, and, uh, and that'll entice that bite. Yeah. Really nice, cool. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. That's a good size coho. For this time of year, oh, wow, that's it's a, a good, good size to them, yeah. He just popped the hook out on that last jump there, spat the hook, and it's gone on the back of his back of his bean here. That's a good size coho. That's a really good size fish for this time of year, isn't it? Oh, he's good. Learning with the pros. 
by your Toyota BC dealers. Today I want to talk to you about the Salmon Head Recovery Program. Each year anglers across British Columbia catch coho and chinook salmon that are missing their adipose fin. Fish that are missing their adipose fin are likely from a hatchery and likely have a coated wire tag inserted in their head. This coated wire tag provides valuable information to fisheries biologists regarding the timing of runs, when they go by your local areas, uh, the stock assessment, health of uh, different fisheries on the coast. And it's very important that this information gets submitted. It's also it's good information for anglers because it tells you when certain runs are coming by your local fishing area. If you do catch a, a fish that's missing its adipose fin, please remove the head and submit it to one of the local head depots. These are usually found at your local tackle shop or marina and uh, it's usually a freezer with some paper tags. You fill out a paper tag with the information, uh, its length, where you caught it, the date, information like that and you submit it to the freezer. For more information and tips like this, please visit our website. Well, I'm just retying my line. I had a little bit of a feel there was a bit of a fray starting so it's always good to check your leader and your line to make sure that you're uh, you know that you've got a good solid tie so if you do get a big fish on you don't end up breaking it off so that's what I'm gonna do and then I've noticed that, that we've noticed that uh, Mike seems to be getting a few more hits on the lighter colored flasher I was going with the dark black glow and glow which is a solid producer for us so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it out and put a little bit lighter color on there drop your anchor we'll be right back Fish on. Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Let's see if we can't tie up another one on the other side here. This is just flat. This is just a spoon. That was exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, if I had given him a tug, it would have landed right in the right in the boat. Got the Glow Kermit Coyote Spoon on and... That was uh, an awesome jump. <laughs> <laughs> so we went down a little deeper with the spoon just to see what we would find and we just got a real good hit. Yeah. A nice coho on the Kermit. He swam pretty much right at the boat. Yeah, just then almost, jumped then the almost boat. jumped right in the boat. Well, we'll let this guy go. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wily fish, isn't it? <laughs> this has got a lot of strength. Beautiful fish. Let's see Try if again. Get, yeah, see if we can get him. Ooh. <laughs> you tell me when you got control of him. <laughs> we're, we're out of control. <laughs> we have lost control. Yeah. Just watch your eyes in case that hook comes flying out. There it is. Oh, you got a little something on the back there. What's that, Michael? Well, that's a little uh, little scent. A little uh, Pro anchovy. Cure anchovy super gel. You bet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's a nice, uh, nice fish. Yeah, right Came on. Came across that bait there. and Rockers. Yeah, and it was sort of, we went through the bait, didn't get a hit, and then we turned around, and as we were kind of just approaching the ball of bait, as we were just starting to see it on the sounder, that fish hit. Oh, just had a little touch. Ooh, that looks like a decent fit. Yeah, just coho. Oh, he's gone. Perfect. Wasn't that big? There you go. That's that again. He had it, came back, hit. I adjusted the downer up, and then went back down, and then there he's right on again. So sometimes it pays just to give him a little bit different action, right? Oh, you bet. Yeah, slight change of presentation, and that's all it takes. Tice that bite. That's a good one. There we go. That's where we had there. 74. That's a little deeper, eh? Yeah. Whoa, Lord. Coming in. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a better fish, yeah. Nice. That's what we were looking for right there. Here, let me deal with this guy here. I'll get everything cleared off here, Mike. Ooh, this is a good fish. That's a hot fish. That's awesome. Nice fish. You used to this? You want me to, you need help coaching? Broad tip up. Tip up. Real. And when it wants to go, look at the flasher way out there. Keep some tension on it? Yeah. Okay, that, I'm not coaching anymore. I've heard that's important. Yeah. Okay. What'd you get this one on? 
Oh, wait, that's on my side of the boat. It was on your side of the boat, yeah. <laughs> we finally get a good one on here, too. It's uh, awesome. This is definitely a better fish. You tell me what you want to do with the boat here. Are we okay just kind of I bobbing here? I think we're here? probably good right here. Maybe yeah. just turn us a little bit to the left. And So we went down a little deeper. We were finding yeah. that up shallow we were getting a lot of coho, so we were trying to avoid the coho and get into the Chinook. So we dropped her down a little deeper than we were first thing this morning, and uh, that one took it around 70. Yeah, 74. 74? I've been fishing 56 and 74. Those are your lucky numbers this year? I don't know. That seems to be it right now. I haven't had many lucky numbers, but this is it right now. This is a better fish. Yeah. That was a great run. Oh, yeah. That right. first run was a you gotta screamer. Love that. I get to show off my netting skills for you, Michael. This is a real treat for you here. I think the last time you netted a fish for me was... No, was that, we had those bookends. Was the first season. Three years, four yeah, years ago? Yeah, bookends. I had that I had that 30, you had like, what, a 26? Something like that. We yeah. Had, <laughs> had some kelp in the... Yeah. Wrapped up and everything, and we got them both in the boat. And that big floating piece of styrofoam, remember? And that was the back of the boat? <laughs> literally just around the corner from yeah. here. The ghost foam floating in the back background behind us. We're going to get a look at this fish. Oh, I just saw a flash. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, nice fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Look at the well, length on Look him. at the leader from that run when it was going across the surface. The yeah. leader, or the, the flasher. Yeah. Got wrapped up. Oh, Mike. That is a you know how green that fish. fish is. Yeah, that's a gorgeous fish. A different color than the other yeah. ones we had, so I'm assuming that must be a different run. Oh, look at that. The hooks just, barbless hooks just popped out right in the yeah. net. Mike, that is a beautiful fish. So what do you think that is, Mike? That's low 20s? I would say, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're in the low 20s. Very nice look fish. Look at the color on it. Huh. Different color, very different color than yeah. the last one. Yeah. You know what? It's. Uh, it, I think this one's a good candidate for release. It's okay. not bleeding. Uh, we haven't had it out of the water. The hooks okay. came out nice and easy, so I, I think I'll let it go. Beautiful Port Hardy Chinook. I'm gonna gently rock this guy back and forth in the water. Just wash some water past his gills. Look at how green that fish is. What a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous colors on that fish. He's a little tired out from the fight. Yeah. He's still got some vigor. And we'll just be patient with him. Well, we've tried hard to get this one yeah. to release, um, but we noticed that it does have a little cut under its gills there, yeah. and um, and it's bleeding, so it just, just doesn't seem to want to go, and it's starting to lose a little bit of vigor even though it's breathing, so I think I'm going to take this one. You can yeah. see it's bleeding, so we're going to take this one. It's a good candidate to keep. So. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Fish on! Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Now that is a, that's a UV flash. This is the UV one. If you get down deeper, it's sort of low light conditions today. So yeah. you get down and you know deep in the water, there's not as much light there, and it's that UV that yeah. you know really gives you a lot of visibility. Tackle and gear. Here is what we've been using on the water today. Well, folks, we're going to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, Rods and Reels combo today were the classic Moocher, 10 and a half foot, medium light action. Uh, the reel today was the new shift, uh, shift reel, and we paired it up with the 25 pound suffix line. And of course, when I come up to areas like this, I got to rely on local knowledge. So, Mike, you got to come in with what we're using on the terminal side here. Well, you bet. Well, the hot ticket item today for us was the uh, new Coyote Crystal Green Flasher with a 42 uh, inch suffix fluorocarbon leader with a new white UV flash fly. This has been a hot ticket item for us as of late. It's been producing very, very well. Um, we switched over a little bit later on, went a little bit deeper with the uh, 5.0 Glow Green Kermit Coyote Spoon. Uh, we were looking to get rid of some of the coho, but we ended up catching uh, more coho on it, but hot ticket item as well around here. And of course, everything that went down in the water today, we made sure we had the anchovy super gel. And that seemed to be a big difference, like the holding pattern. You're saying, too, you've noticed sometimes they're getting a short bite or whatever. With the gel, they're they're hanging on. Oh, you yeah. bet, yeah. And it, it just really upped our odds. Um, way better hooking success. So. Yeah. And of course, probably the most important thing for us to get here was the old, uh, the new 2014 Tundra we have. It's all done out. Without that truck, we're not getting anywhere. So we made it for a nice, comfortable ride up the island highway, yeah, doing our boat and, and getting up here. So it was, it was good. 
Folks, we're going to fall up here with a quick list for you. Get your pens out and we'll see you out on the water. All tackle and gear is available at Harbor Chandler. Ooh, this guy's got some shoulders. Oh no! Did I lose this one again? Still got them. They're looking for lively stuff. You know, they're looking yeah, for. Yeah, you bet. They're not looking for just the flasher pulling that back and forth. They want up and down, and like they're looking for different action where they're committing. It seems like we get a lot of hits after we adjust our depth. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll change it by 10, 15 feet, five feet, and boom, you'll get a bite right away. Yeah. So. Guy's swimming right at the boat. There he is. Cole bouncing around back there. Feel the flasher bouncing in the water there. This guy's a little different. It's nice to see this many coho early in the season. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be a good year for coho. Yeah. I've been really impressed today with this setup that we ran today. Yeah, they Solid. Like the, they like the flasher. They like the yeah. flash fly. Look how clear the water is here. Gorgeous. Yeah, that flash fly has worked really well with that flasher combination. Just see that flasher darting around in the water there. Yeah, they're nice coho too, you know, they're all yeah. good size, like they're good healthy fish and very spunky. Yeah. So do you want to let this one go, yeah, Mike? Yeah, let's, let's let this guy go. I think we're we're good. We got a couple fish in the box. It's been a fantastic day. I bet. He's wrapped up in line, but he'll be he'll be fine. I'm trying to keep him in the water here. Just gently pull the hooks out. And there he goes. Nice. Nice. Thank you, Michael. That was a lot of fun. That was great. What a fantastic day. Like, from the first five minutes we got here, and we're five minutes from the dock. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just amazing. We are on fish all day long, and it's it's early season still up here. Like, it's not the big boys haven't come in yet, or in the bigger coho aren't here, but there's so much coho here. It's so much, oh. so many Chinook, too. It's fantastic. Yeah, you just can't beat this kind of action, and uh, and to be so close to home, you know, yeah. save on gas, you're fishing more. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're really lucky to have this Calm here. Seas. So. A little bit of A little bit of fog and a little haze from the fires are going on up here, but other than that, it's... I mean, it's perfect weather. Yeah, deluxe for perfect. sure. Lots of bait showing up too, yeah. just keeping the fish here and yeah, hold, really holding good. them in. So, yeah. thanks for having us, Mike. Always Appreciate a pleasure, it. my yeah, friend. It's been great. Enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, look forward to it next time. And thank you, folks, for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing, made possible by Rapala, crafted from experience. Yamaha, conquer outdoors. Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, making fishing in BC even better. The Pacific Salmon Foundation, bringing them back stream by stream. Port Boathouse, our official servicing dealership, along with 